Hello on YouTube, I'm back here with another update. I am now in the Torrey Pines Estuary Preserve. Beautiful spot here. Trail eventually will take me out to the ocean. But it traverses this um, really nice estuary marsh here. I 5 runs along the other side of this in the distance, not very close. So I did my delivery. There was not really anything worth taking, leaving today. I got something lined up for tomorrow morning. Picking up not far from where I'm parked, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And it's going to Sacramento, so another short run. But it will put at least some money in my pocket for this week. Can be delivered anytime over the weekend, so that will set me up for Monday for my next load. And this freight continues to be very, very slow. So what I'm going to talk about here, I don't have any political favor for one side or the other. I know there is a lot of polarity out there for who they want for president. Today's 2020 election is coming up. I don't hold any favor politically one side or the other. I'm for God. Uh, government, I'm not, I don't endorse any particular kind of government as being better than any other kind. The Bible says man has dominated man to his injury. And that is the underlying problem with government. People desire to control other people. That's the underlying problem of this world, one of the underlying problems. Obviously, to control anybody else, you have to take away their freedom. Find some way to get them to mortgage away their freedom. What I mean by mortgage away freedom is get them to give it up somehow. Through the control of other people's minds, they give up their freedom. willingly give up their freedom. Thus man dominates man to his injury. There's a view of a little pond there with some ducks. And these are the Tory Pines up on this bluff. For example, people are taking pot shots at Bernie Sanders left and right, I, I notice, and really um, what I reflect on is he wants free education for all people, he wants free health care, and personally I don't see anything wrong with that concept. In itself, there is nothing wrong with that concept. You know, the FDR served four terms as the President of the United States, and he was the one that started Social Security, as far as I know. He started a lot of other government programs that basically today are accepted fully by everybody without question. Like, who is going to refuse a Social Security check? 
it's offered. You know, we have money taken out for taxes that go to that, and most people don't complain about having to pay for that. So that all senior citizens can at least have some money to live on. And that's true with society in general. There are people, there are always, as long as this world is the way it is, there's always going to be people that are not capable of supporting themselves. And certainly it is in the manner of love to contribute toward that out of our own money. The problem is there's just not enough regulations out there, like in the trucking industry, the rates right now are so low that business after business is going under because there's no regulation on it. Part of the reason is there's no regulations, very little or no regulations on rates. I believe it was FDR that instituted minimum wage. I think it was him. I mean, I'd have to double check that. People complain about minimum wage going up, but what they don't realize is we look at the industry that I'm in. I refuse to do a long load anymore because I'm not getting compensated per hour much more than minimum wage. And the job I do is worth a lot more than that. So I'm going to make minimum wage. I'm going to do it maybe working 20 or 30 hours a week. I'm not going to do it working 70. It's just not worth putting that kind of time in if I'm just going to get paid almost nothing for what I'm doing. But... Um, I'm not saying I favor Bernie Sanders necessarily, or I'm against Trump, but Trump's policies have contributed to the trucking industry, and his trade policies have, I mean, my income almost disappeared last year completely. Went from making a halfway decent amount of money when I first started with this, to my income basically dried up on me last year. I believe the president's policies have at least something to do with it because it affects trade and obviously I deal with trade every day. Look at this beautiful Tory pine, huge, this tree must be centuries old growing here. The width of this trunk is, this tree is I'd say probably at least three feet wide. It is huge, and it is a Tory pine. You see, I really think if FDR ran for president today, he'd be run off as a communist because his ideas are similar to Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders wants to take education and make it available to all and take it out of our tax money to pay for it. FDR, he wanted senior citizens to be cared for, so he instituted a program where people would pay in. It was, bril it was a brilliant idea, I think. And that helped get the nation out of a depression. The policies helped lift the nation out of an economic downturn, serious economic situation. The problem is uh, not 
socialism, the real problem is tyranny. The real problem is mankind dominating, man dominating man to his injury. And it doesn't matter what form of government is out there, as long as that's allowed to continue. Basically, capitalism, yeah, in a relative sense, there is more freedom, but there's no regulations. People are still taking advantage of other people. Just in different ways. That is why I do not favor any political government over any other government. A government is a government. As long as man keeps dominating man to his injury, it doesn't matter what form the government takes. And I jokingly say to myself and laugh and chuckle about it, what would people do if Bernie Sanders won the presidential election this year? What would happen if by some amazing feat he managed to win and beat Trump? Would it be the end of the world? I honestly believe people would actually shoot themselves, literally, if he won. There are people out there that I think would literally go bonkers and really all he wants to do is try in his own way what he feels to fix some serious problems the country has with health care with education But people label him a socialist. Well, FDR was a socialist, too, and he instituted Social Security. If it wasn't for him, there would be no support for senior citizens today. Today, if he ran for president, he'd be run off as a socialist. See, people don't look at history... Until people reach a higher state of evolution in this world, more regulations are needed until people as a whole know how to regulate themselves and act out of love rather than other motives. Love for their fellow man is motivating the majority of people. And when that happens, for example, they'll pay you a fair rate for a load you're doing. They'll pay you an amount of money that's you know, a fair rate. Not that you run that load and you make pennies profit on it and they take all the money for themselves. And that's a big part of the problem, not just in this industry, but there's not enough regulation on When there needs to be more regulation, at least at this point in time, there needs more regulation until mankind gets lifted up enough to where they know how to regulate themselves and act out of love for their fellow man rather than what they can get for themselves. Tory Pines up on that bluff.
Let's put it this way. If Bernie Sanders won, I would take it that there's a reason for it. The reason God is allowing that person to win. I'm not saying it's going to happen. But man, in this country, people are bankrupt and getting bankrupt over, over health care. The costs have just so astronomically gone up. I remember back in the 80s when I got my first job. And you, back then, if you got a job, the company handled your insurance. There were no co-pays. There were no out-of-pocket money. If you went to the get medical care, the company's insurance covered it 100% automatically. There was no none of this co-pay stuff. Kind of a little soggy here. Oh, I'm trying to look for a way to get around this stuff. Looks like I may be able to go this way. Yeah, and, and then when Ronald Reagan took office, that just started to erode away during his presidency. They started coming out with, oh, well, insurance costs have gone up. We have to start charging you a copay. First it was a copay, and then, oh, we're going to have to start um, deducting money out of your uh, paycheck every week now to cover this insurance. Oh, we can't afford it anymore. Um, and it gradually over time and George H.W. Uh, took over the trend continued with his presidency more and more they started taking more and more money out of everybody's paycheck to cover insurance You see, there was no regulation put on the cost of health care, so everybody started getting priced out of it. I know this, um, views expressed here, many won't agree with these views. That's okay. The bottom line in this one well, uh, climate of healthcare that exists right now is we have to do our utmost as individuals to take preventative measures ourselves so that we won't need healthcare. We won't have to pay, shell out that money for healthcare. By taking care of ourselves and making that a top priority. So that this all doesn't affect us. All this Obamacare never affected me. I have no health issues. None whatsoever. I simply didn't enroll in it. Paid the penalty every year. I practice my own health insurance by healthy lifestyles, not smoking, eating the best I can. Doing stuff like this in my life, exercise, and taking care of my mind as well, making sure that I keep in a good frame of mind as much as possible because the mind affects the body.
here's some more of these Tory pines. Beautiful, beautiful trees. So that's uh, enough for the discussion. Again, I favor no political side, really. But I'm just chuckling to myself as if Bernie Sanders won this election. How much heartache they'd be out there. How many people would be going bananas if he won? out to the ocean where that bridge is the ocean is just beyond that bridge in the distance so I am going to be following this trail out to the beach This channel is looks like it's pretty deep. It must be probably 10 feet deep by the looks of it. It goes down. And there is a Tory pine right on the other side. And there goes a poster train. Today is pretty packed. I see the parking lot full. It 
It is a very warm day. It must be probably up close to 80 degrees again. So that is going to be it for this video. The trail heads out toward where that parking lot is in the distance. And that is where the ocean is. That is where the beach is. I hope you enjoyed this excursion through Torrey Pines Estuary.